Hey guys, really quick video. This is going to be um, talking about the differences between Rokinon's DS and non-DS cinema lenses. Uh, and this right here is the original Rokinon Cine lens, which is just a modified photo lens uh, from their manual lens lineup. Um, but this was what they first came out with, and they called it the Cine lens because it had a declicked aperture ring down here. It also had a focus uh, gear up here. And it was great. It was, you could just attach it to a camera rig with a follow focus and you know you could pull focus and change exposure with your uh, declicked aperture very smoothly. So it's a nice, um, you know, it's a nice lens, but they actually came out with another set of lenses which they call the DS. And you're gonna pay a little bit more for that, but there's some good reasons why. Now, um, you could still buy these older ones, but we'll take a look at the DS line. Here I have four of them. I've got three on this table and one up here. They come in 24, 35, uh, 50, 85. They come in other um, sizes as well, but this is a bundle right here that I got um, four lenses. And uh, so anyways, we're gonna talk about the differences. So this is the 35 millimeter here, and this is actually a 35 millimeter DS. So they look almost similar, but if you match them up side by side here, you'll notice that um, the markings are a little bit different. Uh, we also have um, the focus gear position is different. And that's really uh, a, a main thing. We'll, we'll get back to that in a second, but you'll see the focus gear is different um, in the alignment. Now, on the DS version, you have markings on one side of the uh, gear, and then you rotate it and you have markings on the other side. So both sides have uh, markings for, um, you know, pulling, fo uh, changing uh, iris and stuff. And this one only has it on one side, not on the other side. So less markings here. So um, the DS line is gonna uh, be better built. Now, as far as the focus gear position goes, you notice that this is different here and it'll be different when you come up over here to a different lens. And that was a problem because when they first came out with these lenses, the, you know, they added focus gears and, and uh, iris gears, but they were just kind of all over the place. So when you would swap lenses, you'd always have to reconfigure your rig or your follow focus. Um, and that can be, you know, that can take up a lot of time depending on how much stuff you have on your rig. Now, if you look at the DS line, here's three lenses side by side, the lens gears, are in the exact same position on the housing of the lens. Uh, same with the iris gears at the bottom here. So what that means is, uh, as an example, I have a, a rig here. If I wanted to swap lenses, and I already have uh, this very nice dual fall focus from shape here. Um, if, if I wanted to swap the lens here, um, if I was to use a different lens with a different position on the focus gear, uh, that gets troublesome and that's kind of why I'm staying away from like a lot of the Canon photo lenses because that's a problem as well. Even if you put focus gears on those rings or on those, uh, the focus rings of the Canon lenses, the autofocus lenses, they're just kind of all over the place too. So this DS line from Rokinon really standardizes a lot of that, makes it uh, easier to work with. And aside from the optics on the DS line, they're gonna be better than the other Rokinons. They've, they're using different coatings on the optics, so it's gonna have a better image quality, um, as well as having a matched look. So what they did with the DS line is, when you swap lenses, the look of your image should be fairly close. Now, if you guys work with a lot of varieties of uh, you know lenses, from old vintage lenses to new lenses, every time you swap lenses, it will have a different look. Even if you're using the exact same camera with the exact same camera settings, your lenses can affect the look. So as you're doing a jump cut or cutting from one camera angle to the next, it could look, you know, really weird. I shot one time, uh, we did multi-camera angles with a GH4, but somebody had an FD lens and uh, that, you know, had a great look, but it looked totally different than what we were shooting with. And so that's always a problem when you're doing multi-camera angle or, or quick jump cuts. Um, so anyways, the DS line here is going to have a matched look between the different DS lenses, the focus gear position, the optics are going to be better than the other stuff. Uh, there's a lot to like about the DS line, so it's probably going to be worth paying that little bit extra if you want a good set of uh, manual lenses. Uh, so just to show you here, if I was to uh, take this uh, follow focus out, and then if I was to just pull this lens off, I can grab any one of these lenses. We'll take this 35. We'll put this on here. Now if I was to swing my follow focus back over 
and lock it down, it's in the exact position. Um, and I could do that with any of these lenses. Again, if you want to work with, you know, your Canon EF uh, lenses and you're using a follow focus, that could be problematic because every lens is going to have a different distance where that focus ring is going to be. Um, so, you know, it's just been a joy really working with these lenses because they're very affordable. They're not the best. I'm not going to say they're better than anything else out there, but as far as functionality and price, uh, they just make working with lenses a, a lot simpler. Our footage now matches, so it's easier to cut from one camera to the next. Um, you know, the, we have manual aperture, so you, know, you don't have to worry about smart adapters. You can get really dumb adapters. Uh, you know, and just working with follow focuses or wireless follow focus systems, swapping lenses, very easy. So anyways, that's the difference between the DS line of, from Rokinon as opposed to like their older stuff, which is still great optically. But, you know, again, if you're looking at some of the things that um, I'm talking about, matched look, uh, you know, the correct uh, focus gear positions and, you know, um, better optics, it's probably worth getting the DS line. Anyways, if you have any other questions, let me know at the blog, cheesycam.com.